Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to our new created channel. And in, uh, in this channel, it's about podcast, and uh, we're going to be doing an introduction about ourselves. Um, my name is Julian, and my friend right now, uh, introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Leonardo. Most people just call me Leo, and it's shorter, so it doesn't really matter. Leo, my name is Leo. Go, go ahead, Julian. And yeah, that's my friend. And uh, so we created about this idea of making a podcast. Um, it's going to be our our uh, YouTube channel together. We're going to be working together. Um, honestly, we're just going to be talking about basically anything that interests us. Like, for an example, like mythology, um, you know, whatever, to be honest. And uh, and yeah, that's, that's basically it that we're just going to do in our podcast. Uh and uh you got anything to say Leo? um yeah i mean yeah it's like julian said we're gonna be talking about a lot of myths urban legends scary stories that happen to us if and and if anything if you guys want to drop a comment below and tell us an urban legend that you guys have from your hometown or anything else just let us know put it down in the comments and basically this video is about us and getting to know us and what type of content we're going to create and all that stuff um it's gonna be pretty simple but that's just it uh but yeah hope you guys like this channel all right so basically <clears throat> we created this idea a long time ago about making a podcast we just really never got the chance because we really never looked much into it we already got the equipment all we need so we're finally putting it into motion um but we really wanted this podcast for a while and now that we have it in motion and have it going on we're really excited about this really how excited about how it's gonna happen how it's gonna go how big we're gonna get and i'm really happy about putting in the time and effort and the grind to see how it goes and everything will go well hopefully but rather than that i'm just very excited to start the podcast um yeah, that's basically all of it for our podcast channel, what my Leo said, and uh, I really hope you guys enjoy it, and I really hope uh, we get enough um, recognition towards our our uh, dream of being podcasters, so um, I really hope you guys enjoy our videos, um, the things we say, and yeah, that's basically it, you know, and maybe later on, you know, uh, we'll start to make more uh, brainstorming. You know, so we can give you guys uh, better things to see and, and hear. And yeah, and um, that's basically it. Um, you got anything else? Um, not really, not right now. But um, for example, we're gonna be talking about stuff right now in a bit. Talk about an example, for example, like scary stories. <laughs> I just had example many times, but. Is because I'm nervous, but we're gonna improve. We're definitely gonna improve in this. Um, do you got anything? All right, so um, I don't really have a lot, but mm, some of them are decently scary and terrifying. So uh, um, let's see. Let me think real quick. Uh, um, well, it's it's something natural, but it's really scary. So. Like, there was times where, like, honestly, like, uh, every time when I sleep, I mainly have sleeping paralysis. You know that? Yeah. So, uh, if you guys, well, if you guys don't know it, it's like, uh, it's like, um, something where you wake up in the middle of the night when you can't move or speak, but you could only see. You're, ba you're basically paralyzed, but you can only see, so... It's basically it. I forgot the cause of it though, so I'm not sure. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. what's the meaning of sleep paralysis. So, the story I'm about to give is when uh, I have multiple actually, but the most scariest one I ever had. It's it's terrifying. So, um, so I don't remember exactly how the day started, but um, so during the middle of the night, I woke up and. Um, I was laying on my side, so it was dark in my room, so I couldn't see nothing. I was uh, facing towards the wall on the side of my uh, on the other side of my bed, and um, all of a sudden I woke up, 
and I couldn't move or speak, but I could only see, but it was just darkness, so I couldn't really see anything. So, um, out of nowhere, you know, I hear a girl right behind me, and, like, she's saying, like, she's, like, saying my name, and she's saying, wake up, you know, and, and at first, I thought it was my sister, like, I thought she came in, you know, to, like, talk to me or something, but it turned out I wasn't. <laughs> And until I realized that I couldn't move, so I was panicking like heck. And so um, she just kept saying my name. It was terrifying. Like, like I'm telling you, I was like, my heartbeat was racing, you know. So um, she just kept saying my name, like to wake up. And when I woke up, oh my gosh, dude! Like after that night, I did not want to go back to sleep at all. Well, it doesn't really sound that very scary, but, you know, when you experience it yourself, oh my gosh, it's not something that you're not going to forget. And yeah, that's basically, what do you think about it? Nah, yeah, bro, definitely, bro. It's scary moments like that. Sleeping paralysis, myself, I've gotten it maximum like two times, but it is scary though. Now, I, I do understand what you mean by that. Because it is scary as hell when you get sleeping paralysis. You can't move or see. And honestly, it's just scary, bro. Like, there's really nothing much you can do about it. Just stay seated and do nothing. So, I understand. Alright, so... <clears throat> the story that I'm going to be saying... Is pretty... It's a good amount of scary i guess but basically this happened to me a long time ago but recently at that time i recently got a cat and i named him pedro because i've always wanted a cat named pedro so i've named him that and um from that day like a month later or so he was mostly grown already and when i go when he goes to sleep he sleeps right beside me but Every time a little sound happens, like the like car sounds or anything or like um, uh, something falling from the counter, maybe a little creak from the door or something like that, he automatically wakes up and go checks, go checks it out. But in this specific night, it was like 3 a.m. in the morning. I was on my phone. It was summertime. I love staying up all night because why not? You know, it's summer. Uh, but this specific night. I woke up. Well, I didn't wake up. My bad. Um, I was on my phone. Pedro was right beside me sleeping. But I heard a knock on my window. And my window is pretty, pretty hard. It's a good amount. So it was pretty dang loud. And I got scared, but my cat didn't wake up. So I thought that was weird. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to let it slide. I didn't, I didn't bother to check or anything. I didn't want to get up or anything. I was too comfortable in my bed, but when like five minutes later it happened again i'm like oh shit this time like he didn't wake up nothing happened i didn't think about it much but then a minute later it happened again and i looked at the window i have black curtains so you can't really see nothing outside since it's all pitch black but the thing is that when i looked at my window all i saw was glowing two dots very tall it looked like a tall figure and it seemed like a sketchy like like a sketch of a head because it was glowing eyes it seemed like it was glowing eyes so when i looked at it i my my heart dropped so i really didn't know what to do or what to say i tried to yell i tried to scream i tried to say something but nothing came out i was too afraid i was scared talking about it now is making my hands sweat because I mean, who would like to go to sleep th knowing that something like that is out there? Or like, maybe maybe it was just something that I didn't, I thought about it too much. Or I don't even know what it was, but sometimes I sit down and think about it. What would happen if I were to open the window and check what it was? Or even like, stay up and like, still look at it. Yeah, that story is actually pretty crazy. Uh, you know, if I was in your shoes, I'd be terrified as heck. So that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but that makes sense. Uh, I mean, it is scary. Yeah. Mm. 
speaking about figures, actually have a similar story to that. Oh yeah, bro. Um, go go for it. Tell us about it. Yeah, Let's see. So there was this time at my house. We had a family party. Um, I was pretty tired from spending time with my family, so like I fell asleep in my room with the door open, but everybody was gone, so they all left. That's when I slept. So um, back then, I used to sleep with my door open. I don't know why. I just felt safer that way. But um, uh, so like. Uh, during nighttime in my house, um, there is light coming out from outside that's going in through the windows from the living room. So I could uh, see the outside of my door pretty clearly. But um, but uh, when I was sleeping, I woke up. I couldn't move, couldn't talk. And I was just looking at the ceiling. Me just I wasn't even thinking that like I was thinking that I was awake. I wasn't even thinking I had sleeping paralysis. Um, until I looked at my door, because I always do that every night. I don't know why. I wake up in the middle of the night. I look at my door, and I don't know. I just look at it. But when I looked at it this time, I Damn. saw a girl standing there. And <laughs> nah, I'm telling yeah. you guys, oh, that that was terrifying. Like, you know, um, I was staring oh, at shit. that, and it just got closer. And like, <laughs> oh, and I was screaming in my head. I was like, Oh my god! Yeah, bro. What Dude, I'm gonna die. You know, <laughs> but uh, um, yeah. That night, uh, I closed my <laughs> eyes when it was coming closer. Oh heck, no, bro! Like, I did not even want to look at it no more. I closed my eyes and I woke up and I could have. Then I could have. <laughs> yeah. It was gone. <laughs> that night, I did not want to sleep either. So. Damn, bro. Nah, definitely, bro. Yeah, it's a crazy. Night. I wouldn't want to do that either. I wouldn't want to go to sleep either, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. Fuck that. Uh, until <laughs> someone goes to the kitchen. <laughs> definitely, bro. Definitely scary experiences, bro. And yeah, guys, that's basically it. You know, um, I know that you know we kind of sounded a little weird. You know, we're not that very good, but the more we do it, the more, the more better we get. So, um, yeah, and that's, uh, and that's today's, um, introduction. You know, we give you an example and, you know, um, now you guys know a little bit about us. So, and yeah, guys, um, all right, guys. So, um, that's basically it. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope you guys stay tuned to our channel. Um, hope you guys like and subscribe, share it to people. Um, that's it. You know, we'll be making more videos later on in the future. Hope you guys have a good day. God bless y'all. Yeah, guys. Well, we're going to head out. Mm, that was a fun moment. Really fun experience with y'all. But we're going to cut this video right here. We already expressed ourselves. We already showed a little bit of what we're going to be talking about. Hope those scary videos really spook you guys a little bit, maybe. Especially Julian's with the figure that shit, nah. In the house especially, nah, I'm good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks guys for sticking around to the end. Really appreciate it. And yeah, well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I was leaving. I was never really good with the